Treasure Hunters. A group of friends went on a regular hunting trip in the season to neighboring lands. Which appeared to be agricultural land. By chance, it wasn't taken into consideration. It was an archaeological site discovered in one of the agricultural lands. One of the group members will tell us about the experience himself, and he will tell us about it through a press interview with him. It was when I went out to hunt rabbits. It's like an annual event that I do with my friends. So we're used to going out together and have fun, but it never crossed my mind that the hunting hobby is going to be the cause of this strange and beautiful adventure at the same time. So tell us about some of the details about that adventure. One day our group went out for rabbit hunting, so we were laying traps and watching if we would get lucky, and actually these traps worked successfully. One of them did end up catching a rabbit, and then rushed to the trap to see what it snapped, and there I found the remains of an old water well. Its walls were crumbling, and the grass was spread all over it in a fashion that seemed to deliberately cover the features of the well. But at a glance, I realized the well was very old. There must be someone or something that's trying to blur its features, especially the walls. So what did you do next? I called my friend to come over and showed him my suspicions about the wall and it being deliberately obscured to hide something. After hearing everyone's comment, we became more curious to know the actual truth about why all this effort was made to make the well so unidentifiable. The curiosity got much higher after one suggested bringing a metal detector that was purchased by a friend of his recently and seeing if there's something there or not. Bring the aforementioned device? Evet, kesinlikle evet. Yes, definitely yes. It was a great suggestion that helped us a lot later. It took about an hour and a half to bring the device out of the house, which is uncomfortable, as it delayed everything and the sun was gone. The device was brought and then we started to scan the area around the well and its walls. So what happened next? Well, we started the search and scan process. The soil wasn't flat as it was ploughed earlier in preparation for the season, and the well was located in that area. So that made the whole thing a little bit harder at the beginning. The target was unknown, and we didn't know what we were looking for, whether it was gold, silver, or ancient artifacts that had been buried there. And we didn't know the size of the target either, whether it was small or big. Curiosity and mystery kept pushing us to continue the search. What were the steps you took for the search process and locating the target? 
As I said earlier, we didn't have any prior experience regarding searching for treasures, but our friend is the one who brought his devices and started searching. What he did at the start was using a device with a long-range locator to make sure there are no other signals that might have interfered with the place and waste our time searching around in circles. So he started locating the signal source, which was, conveniently enough, the well that we suspected in the first place. Next, he used another sensor to ensure the signal source and to determine the depth. That device gave us accurate results. He used multiple searching sensors with the same device to locate the target location and depth precisely, which is 80 centimeters from the ground surface. How was the moment of truth for you? It was a wonderful moment, dreamlike, when the device started alerting us towards the buried metal, especially when it was confirmed that something was emitting such a strong signal that even a newbie in the field of research would have known the size of the target for a signal like that. At first, we did not believe it. We tried the device outside the explored area and making what he called a new ground balance, and the device was working accurately, which confirmed the legitimacy of the target. Then I asked all my friends to bring the tools and start digging. It was a critical moment. The fear of being a fake signal and all that was buried with some worthless metal without any material or archeological value. And that all we were hoping for was a dream worth making disappointment prevail on us. But at the same time, it was an exciting moment that it was possible to have something buried with value and to benefit everyone. All I can tell you is that it was mixed feelings, fear for the absence of something of value and wishful thinking that the dream may come after a long wait. <laughs> How long did it take from locating the target to start the digging? No one was thinking of time. Hours were passing like minutes in excitement. Time sense was absent and nobody felt that it took a long time. But in fact, when the digging started and the signal source location, heartbeats were accelerating. Everyone started losing patience for something to show up. Was it gold, silver, valuable artifacts? And the urging question of when the digging is going to stop, the sun was setting, the light was fading away, which made visibility hard and the digging was not over yet. So one of our friends lit up their car headlights towards the site and others turned on their phone flashlights to increase the visibility. And then time started passing slowly and worries arose. What if we did something wrong and things were not going as we hoped? fearing that digging late at night might get us reported to the local authorities by someone. All of these worries and fears were turning the dream into a nightmare. And then, suddenly, someone shouted aloud, I can see parts of pottery on the surface. At that moment, joy washed over us as our digging and efforts were fruitful and not in vain. The digging accelerated to show the pottery that was broken at the top. Releasing it from the soil was really hard as it was very brittle. The broken parts were collected and the soil was inspected to see what it contained. Turns out it was coinage, which we thought was gold at first, but actually were ancient silver coins with historical value that had to be determined by experts.